there are only 60 langurs left in Singapore. I really want to learn more about them in order to protect and conserve them. Hi, I'm Dr. Andy Young and I'm a primatologist. Today we're at Thompson Nature Park to look for some critically endangered langurs. We have to wake up really early in the morning to get to the field site by 7.30 a.m. to try to look for the langurs. But along the way, we'll also see other species of wildlife like long-tailed macaques, squirrels, colugos, and sometimes even pigs. My research partner Sabrina and I have been following them for the past three years. So using high-quality photographs, we were able to identify individuals. When I first saw them, it was after two months going to the forest, Mondays to Fridays, mornings and afternoons, and I thought I wouldn't find them at all. But after two months of trying to find them, when I first saw it, it was a bit surreal because it was just this black coloured monkey that was about 20 meters in front of me, up in the trees. And within three seconds, it ran away. So then I didn't even have time to react, you know, whether I actually saw a langer. But afterwards, I matched with the photos and I realised, yeah, that's the one I've been looking for for two months. You need to have a lot of patience. So the difficulty is if you go to the field and you don't see them, you, you might feel discouraged, like, am I doing the right thing? How should I continue? And so I would say, at least for the line of primatology, uh, looking at endangered species of wildlife, it's important to have a lot of patience, determination. We're now on the Langer Trail, trying to look for the Raffles Banded Langs. So we study the langurs because they are critically endangered so we carry day-to-day -day field observations on them and sometimes we also collect their poop because the poop samples uh, contain a lot of information such as the plants that they eat, uh, genetic health of the monkeys and also parasites that they carry. So what I like about it is the quiet time when you're out there looking for the animals and what you could probably find you know throughout the day so i wanted to go out to the field find out more about them and how we can help so things like how many are there left in singapore how many are there left in malaysia what can we do to conserve the species in both countries while studying the langurs you also learn about the other species of wildlife in the habitat so other species are monkeys, squirrels, pigs, snakes, plants. So as you learn more about them, uh, the different species of wildlife, then you realize that they're all interconnected in a huge ecosystem that requires protection, not just you know isolated protection of a species, but you should look at them as a whole. So that was really important lesson there.